grind hard to get ahead. You trying to go backwards. Feel us from the past, pray the Lord block it all up. What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Can't you turn on YouTube shit? Hey man, say man. We are little. Little teeth, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today? To motherfucking day? Hey man, say man. Straight hood and outside shit, man. We're about to watch how to make a gold grill, man. Real gold and diamond teeth. The um Ultimate God. The ultimate God, bruh. We about to watch this shit. Hopefully, it don't do no copyright shit, man. Hey, man, say, man, for real. You did. For real. Bleed blue, man. Um, I eventually expect to want to get a grill, man. A gold grill, you dig? Eventually. And hopefully, uh, I ain't going to make my own grill. I'm going to buy that bitch. But, you know what I'm saying? see how they made and how they, how they niggas be making them. We finna get Let's go. Let's turn up. What's going on, guys? This video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to make real gold and diamond We've been see how we're gonna I want a gold grill, bro. Eventually, bro. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to start your own custom It's going to take time, though, begin. but you feel me? First thing you guys will need is a dental You got to get that ka-ching. Yeah. Event, I'm going to give me a Next, gold grill, bro. Next, you need cement mix. This goes for around $15. You will need jewelry wax sheets. These go for around $20. You will Nigga, need I ain't making no grill, bitch. I'm going to have a whole looking all type of fucked up. This costs around $10. And you will also need mold release spray. This also costs around $10. So but if y'all don't even want to make a gold grill, y'all can. The first step is making the impression mold. The second step is making the dental cement model. The third step is the wax up process. The fourth step is casting. The fifth step is polishing. The sixth step is setting diamonds. And the seventh and final step is the finishing polish. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, make uh, a dental uh, let's impression get, let's get, let's get. The dental impression kit is going to come with three things. Two putties. This is how you make gold tray. grills, bro. These are mixed. They're going to form a hard silicone mold. So before you guys begin, make sure you sanitize the plastic tray, either with alcohol or with hot water and soap. Make sure okay. it's dry before you start. All right, guys, so we're going to take out both of the putties right now. Alcohol and, and together water, together hot water. 30 seconds. Now we're going to mix it until so everything becomes light blue and there's no more white shine. Now, as you guys mix it, you will notice... So, they think that's how they niggas be making gold so grills? For exactly 30 like, I think I'm fucked up. You need to be like, you know what I'm saying? Put it into a little tube and put it in the plastic tray. Next, we're going to insert the mixture inside the tray and we're going to evenly spread it out. We're also going to press the top to make sure everything is flat. Try to make the top as flat and as even as possible. You will then put it in the client's mouth and press up for exactly five minutes. If you guys are doing bar, press it is fire, bro. Hold it for the entire five minutes. After five minutes is up, you're gonna gently move the tray to the left or right and pull down. The mold is now finished. The most important thing is that you guys actually see a gum line. If you see the gum line, that means you have a successful. That's how we used to do it in, in, in football practice, nigga. The little grills. This is going to man. Oh, you know if you know, man. Straight hood, not that shit. All right, guys. There's many cement mixes you can buy. The one I got, you have to Damn, one man, cup of water and two and a half cups Turn up, turn up, turn up. See, that's shit for real, nigga. Nigga, I can't wait to, like, get a um, grill, nigga. I can't get a gold cement grill, cement nigga, cement maybe even the bottoms. Just so you guys know, one fifteen. That would be fire, bro. With this, too? Right, so when you guys start mixing, what? it's very important to pour the cement into bro, the water and fire, not bro. Down. We're slowly going to pour the cement in. Don't pour everything at once. So when you guys start pouring, you guys are going to notice a chemical reaction. There's going to be a little bit of smoke. So just make sure you guys don't inhale this. And make sure you guys are always wearing gloves when you do this. It's very important to put this on your skin because that can cause burns. All right, so after we pour the entire cup in, we're going to slowly start steering it. We're going to steer this for about five minutes until it gets Let's go! Now make sure you guys don't steer wait. in a circular like, motion to Oh, I can't wait to get grilled one day, bro. All right, guys. So the next step after we're finished steering is we're going to put cement into the mold. All right, now when you guys do this, do this slowly to prevent air bubbles from getting inside the cement. Okay, right okay. After you pour the cement, it's very important no to air bubbles. Tooth pick and to poke every tooth to make sure there's no air trapped inside. If you don't do this, there's a very high chance that your model will have holes from air bubbles. Damn, we happens, don't want that. So How's gonna break and shit? You're gonna let the cement dry for about an hour. After that, you can take it out. When you're done, gently take out the cement. The first thing you're going to do is inspect for any defects or holes on the teeth that you're doing. If there are no defects, that means we can move on to the next step, which is the wax up process. The first thing you guys will do is spray the model with the mold release spray. That's fire. Now the next step is a very important one. Let's talk about wax. The absolute most important thing when it comes to making grills is to use a wax that does not shrink. 
Wax, wax sheets, sheets are going to come in different gauges. gauges. The smaller the Damn, they ain't really showing you how to make a gold Another grill, nigga. Another way to make grills is to melt regular jewelry Y'all need to make y'all shit at the too. crib, Again, nigga. if you guys do it this way, make sure you buy wax that doesn't shrink. In this video, we're going to be using wax sheets. You will need two cups of water. One cup is going to be hot water, and the second cup is going to be cold water. The hot water will soften the wax so you can apply it on the teeth model. And Bruh, the cold take notes, man, take notes. So you can cut it more precisely. You, you can do, also do this shit, later, man. You, you have a good ass we grill, will now nigga. Cut the wax sheet in half and place yeah, it in the hot where water you get your for grill from? Nigga, I made my shit. Take it out of real go, nigga. And place it on the dental model. We're gonna center the wax on the cement model and we're gonna start pressing on all of the teeth to cover them with wax. We're gonna start from the middle and move on outward. We're going to do this for every tooth that we're using for the grill. Now, if you guys want to make a very light grill, you will simply use a very thin wax and use only one layer. Oh. But if you want your grill to be thicker and heavier and have more gold, or if you're going to set That's diamonds, fire. you can add more layers. Now, the next step is we're going to take I want a heavy, I want a, a heavy one because you get the light when they can bend easy, you know what I'm saying? This, we're going to take the you feel me? That has a little I ain't trying to get one where you can just bend super easy, you dig? I want the, now, the heavy one. You put that on your sock and it won't bend type shit. Next, we're going to take the same instrument and make lines between every tooth. Man, it's gonna take we're gonna time, man. Do the exact same thing on the back. We're gonna take our heat gun and apply a little bit of heat to the wax. Nigga, I give me a, I give me a, a grill, a gold grill, nigga. I'm, I'm in there. Speaking as I went to the next step is cutting the wax. We're gonna dip the wax into cold water for around 30 seconds. Oh, that's why you have the cup this, of the cup the of water. Out. We're gonna take the sharp wax cutting tool and cut around the gum line of every tooth. All right, now obviously you guys will be dealing with a very sharp razor, so if this is your first time, you guys have to be extra careful. You might want to wear special gloves. Okay, All right, guys, okay. now I know this may seem hard at first, but trust me, if you do this a couple of times, you'll be pros at this. All it That's takes money, is though. Practice. There are people that make all kinds of crazy pieces. Oh, fire. All right, now we're going to do the exact same thing for the back teeth. Again, we're going to cut around the teeth, and then we're slowly going to peel the wax. By the way, guys, you don't have to throw Damn, away the wax. Bro. The wax is reusable. Are the racks right, reusable? Guys, the next okay. Step is touching up the piece and fixing any mistakes that you made. Just so you guys know, you can always take a piece of wax and apply it on the defected area to fix it. You guys can also dip the piece into cold water and sand down the piece if you need to. When you guys are done, make sure the oh, piece shit. fits the mold. The next step is to add a sprue for casting. We're going to take the wax, make a small tube from it, and then melt the tip of it and attach it to the piece. Once this is done, we can start casting the piece. This is fire, right, man. Next step is casting. We're gonna go man, down to I love grills. Nigga, I just don't have the cha-ching for it, man. Oh, the bin got one. Oh, they got one I was like, what, 18, 18 nigga? You can also tell them what color you want to cast in. Yellow gold, white gold, or rose gold. You're going to be paying $1.50 per gram for labor, plus a spot price for gold. So when you guys first get the piece back from casting, it's going to look a little rough. The first thing you're going to do is inspect it for any defects, and you're also going to put it back on the cement model and make sure it fits. If it doesn't fit, that means there was a issue. Oh, man, I thought you give me a good-ass grill, shape. man. If that's the case, again, make sure you're using non I might want to make way, guys, one eventually. Piece, you feel me? I didn't use sandpaper. If you guys spend at least about $100, $200 to make it's one shit. You're going to be wasting less gold. Next, you're going to weigh the piece and write down how much it weighs. The next step is to take the piece to a polisher and have it polished. You're going to be paying around $20 for the polishing. Also, the polisher will put little rubber balls inside the teeth Damn. to make sure the shape does not change during polishing. When you guys get the piece back, make sure the polisher did a good job. And the first thing you're going to do is put the piece back on the cement model to make sure everything fits. Also, make sure the polisher does not polish anything inside. Alright guys, the next step is setting diamonds. Because there are no preset prongs and holes on grills, you guys will be paying $1.50 to set your stone. After the stones are set, you can take the piece they're back not the they, they not, they not the so as you guys know, there's oh, many styles of how much it costs to set it. They ain't how much it costs like regular. So obviously we have regular solid gold grills. These are the ones that we made fire. in the studio. Then we have drip grills. Basically oh, all these grills are made the same way. Oh, them all is up. Fire! Then we have bridge grills. I eat the regular, I'll eat the regular ones though. You did. The diamond set will carve out a little line outside the diamonds. Then we have open teeth grills. No, I don't like that one. They just cut out the inside. I'll eat the, the regular ones, right? You guys right? can do multiple teeth at once. You guys can do single teeth, and you guys can do single teeth with diamonds. You guys Damn. can also do all kinds of combinations, like add different color stones. Also, you see those prongs? They're black. That's made with the rhodium pen. You guys can also get all kinds oh, of Oh, wait! Drill used to Texas, man! You, can do this in the you dig? Research. That's where that shit come from. He used to Texas. Laser it onto the piece. You guys can even print out things such as small letters on your Mars Elegant printer. And come on, man! Texas, man! Also laser on Texas, you and dig? Diamonds, and then have the diamond set up. Playing with nigga. For a very clean look. Honestly, just like any piece of jewelry, you got case my name in that bitch. Right, That's how you thought about getting real, man. Start a grills business. The first thing we're going to do is figure out exactly how much it's going to cost us to make a grill. For example, if you guys make a six tooth grill, you will need to know exactly how much it will cost to make yeah. a ten carat, fourteen carat, eighteen carat gold. You will also need mm -hmm. to know the prices for four tooth, 
single tooth, and all the other popular designs you'll be selling. You will have to make a test grill for each design and character. You damn. can make one grill, get all the info, sell it, and then make the next. You will also need to ah, get a diamond supplier to get wholesale diamonds. You will need to figure out what stone sizes you will be using and the cost for That shit costs a lot of money, man. You on how to buy wholesale you diamonds did. on my channel. Like, you you guys gotta... want to check that out. All right, when you guys first start out, I suggest you use very thin wax to make very light grills. So, for example, if you're going to make a six-tooth grill, it should weigh around three grams and should cost you around $100 to make in 10 karat gold. So, it will cost you what? around $100 to make and you will sell it for around $200. $200 for a grill, grill is a very good price. price. People buy sneakers for around $200, around $200 so you guys should not have, you should not have any problems selling for that price. price. And I'm trying to get real, man. Sell Zen -Zen Zen -Zen kits. You can get these wholesale for around $5 on Alibaba. Usually, they sell for around $20 and $30 retail. When you guys ship out the But then nigga, like, nigga, you bought, I tell you, you're done making this shit, nigga, it's going to cost at least about grill they want. They 200 300 dollars just to make the grill man all right, the next thing you guys will do is build a large Instagram page. This is going to give your business an online presence. Now it's going to be hard to get yeah, no, no gold. Like this, I ain't trying to make no real business. You to build an account up fast. The next thing you guys will do is build a YouTube these YouTube bitches. Like the fuck? This person did around Cuban chains. This is going to give you a bunch of free traffic. YouTube is a great way to leverage traffic. YouTube will push the video and you will get new customers. Next, you will take all of your professional pictures and you will build a Shopify store. Next, what you will do is find YouTube influence. Maybe I need to make a gold grill, Cuban link, all types of shit, man. What you, guys you feel me? Y'all can do that shit, man. You feel me? If y'all want to make uh, y'all own chains and shit, nigga. You feel me? Go on, go on, go, go crazy, man. I ain't telling y'all, nigga, what y'all can't do. Do y'all, nigga. Man, imagine, man. This. This old fire. That would be icy, man. I guarantee you guys, if you put in the work, you will be successful. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, Please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, man, say, man. I'm trying to make grills, nigga. I'm trying to, when I ain't going to make one, bitch, I'm trying to get some grills, nigga. I'm trying to get the gold one, pop the top one first. Maybe the bottom, that might be o OD. But for sure, hood and outside, the top one. Maybe then advance to the, um, diamonds. It's just going to take time, man. It's all going to take time and shit, man. Just letting y'all niggas know before y'all be like, oh, whoa, 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 we ain't want to go grill. Yes, nigga. How y'all niggas have, uh, I've been one one ever since I was like 18, 17, man. I'm trying to go crazy, man. How y'all niggas have lady ass um, motherfucking day, man. Straight hood and all that shit, man. We out this bitch deuces. Dang. Yes, sir. Hey, Dad, you know what I mean. We need to talk about this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Kodak everywhere.